What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2022 Showdown Live. Uh, you might be wondering, Marcos, what's with the getup? I was actually just outside gardening, tending to my garden, pulling weeds, uh, when I said, you know what? You know who else loves gardening? Tapu Bulu. I made this Tapu Bulu team a couple of days ago and it's been doing pretty okay. It's been doing pretty okay. Like I, I'll hit like 1600 and then fall down to 1200 because I'm just inconsistent. Uh, but overall, I think it's a really fun team. So we're going to be using it today. Before we start, shout out to my dude, uh, Karayu here, who said like, hey, try out Room Service Palkia when I was trying to figure out what item to use on it. That's what this team is based around. Room Service Palkia actually goes crazy and I'll explain why in a sec. Um, also, sorry if I mispronounced your name, bro. I, I'm very bad at pronouncing names <laughs> across the board, but yeah, thank you so much. Um, but before we get into that, if you guys enjoyed this land play in time, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily VGC content. And that's for my comment question of the day. What Tapu is the most underrated and competitive right now? Uh, you know, Lele hasn't seen a lot of use. Finny hasn't seen a lot of use. The or Finny has picked up a bit on like Calyrex Ice teams. Uh, Bulu and Coco are like Bulu. I think has the least amount of use of all of them right now, so that's why we're using it. But yeah, let's get into it. So Tapu Bulu is running an Assault Vest, Zero Speed IV uh, with Horn Leech, Stone Edge, Snarl, High Horsepower. So what I'm able to do with this set um, is I'm able to either A, Dynamax it, which is sometimes you need to do, uh, but B, uh, I provide residual healing to things like Calyrex Ice and everything on my team but Thunderous, uh, while under Trick Room dealing with things that Rhenia's Sun like to run, uh, including Gastrodon, Groudon, but also notably Charizard. Next to Calyrex Ice, I can turn off the Charty Berry and go for a Stone Edge to KO it, or I can just max Rockfall. It's kind of whatever. Uh, but yeah, uh, we have enough where we're like getting three hit KO'd by, I believe, Timid Kyogre Ice Beam and the rest is just like straight up bulk. Um, but yeah, we have standard Calyrex Ice, just Glacial Lance, Protect Trick Room, High Horsepower, Zero Speed IV, Weakness Policy stuff. We have my Safety Goggles and Cinero set I've been running on literally every single team without adjustment. We have Room Service Palkia, uh, and this guy, this guy goes crazy. So we have enough special attack where in the rain, our max guys are roll one shot uh, opposing Zacian. Um, but we also have enough bulk where we can take things like uh, minus one play rough, which is going to be super important uh, for this team. Uh, and we have enough speed where at plus two, or we have Thunder Wave, Thunderous spoilers here. If we Thunder Wave anything not named Regieleki, if it's relevant, we're going to outspeed it with the Palkia. However, 112, this is the reason, you know, I could also run 26 speed IV. I'm just going to say that right now. I could run 26 speed IV, but I can't get that in game. It's very difficult for me. So I'm just running zero speed IV with 56 speed. Get over it. Um, I have enough speed where 112 actually allows us to underspeed Grim Snarl after our room service activates, allowing us to dodge things like spirit breaks and being able to kill the Grim Snarl with probably like a rain boosted max geyser. Uh, we have Mental Herb, Standard Mimic You, just Play Rough, Trick Room, Will O Wisp, Shadow Sneak, and we of course have Citrus Berry, Thunderous, Prankster, Thunderbolt, Thunderwave, Eerie Impulse, and Rain Dance, because Rain Dance Palkia is just absolute heat. But yeah. Uh, I think I'm like mid 1400s on ladder right now. Yeah, I'm 1450. I'm literally mid 1400. Um, but yeah, let's grab some games. Uh, hopefully today will be a better day than uh, yesterday. Yesterday I did pretty bad. Uh, I didn't record though, but yeah. Also, spoilers: there is a drag. There, there is a Reggie Drago team in my team builder. Get over it. Let's see what we can do. Ooh, ooh, we found the. I repeat, the. Tapu Bulu game. There has never been a more Tapu Bulu game in my life. Uh, let's go ahead and go Thundee Palkia. I think Thundee Palkia is fine. Uh, I definitely want my Incineroar this game. Do I want my Incineroar this game? I think I, I definitely want my Bulu, right? Thundee Palkia should guarantee me a trick room if they end up leading with like Whimsicott. Because I just, I just rain dance on them. I think I want to go Cali. Yeah. Ooh, okay. This is a little bit more rough. Uh, let's go ahead and just go for the KO on the Charizard. Um, or actually, maybe I just go for the Zacian because I can Thunder Wave it here. I can Thunder Wave it here. Maybe I just go for it. My Max Geyser won't KO. But my Geyser would KO a Charizard here. 
but I, I definitely need the Zacian. That's the issue. You know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to first rain dance Max Guard. This might be a little bit of a weird play. I need to rain dance Max Guard. Because next turn, I'm going to have to uh, go for the... Oh, yeah. Because next turn, I have to Thunder Wave Max Geyser to guarantee a KO. There we go. All right. So now I can actually KO here. If he airstreams, I'm in trouble, but that's just something I have to deal with. <laughs> Thunder Wave, Max Geyser. He's probably going to airstream, let's be real. He rock falls. Okay, that's not great because I'm not going to KO now. But I could also just get like a lucky crit or, you know, have him get fully paralyzed, which he does. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's Thunder Wave the Charizard. I don't want him to move before me. I still just Geyser here. Because I need to get rid of Zacian for this endgame to work out. That's fine. He took too much. He went for the Wildfire, which is cool with me. I did miss my Thunder Wave, which really sucks. Did miss that. Um, let's just go for the Thunderbolt KO here. And I'm going to Trick Room. Because Thunderbolt will KO this. Nice. Now we got TR, which is actually super cool for Palkia. Like I said, you know, Palkia is going to be 74 speed. So if he has any speed investment, I actually forget. What is Incineroar's base speed? It's the same as Grimmsnarl, right? Spoilers for the next team. 80. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to be under speeding. I'm going to be under speeding this Incineroar unless he's zero speed. Uh, let's go Tapu Bulu here. Yeah, let's go Tapu Bulu. Or actually, I could even go Calyrex. Calyrex is probably better. Uh, and we'll try to Hydro Pump. Because I don't want to take a Hurricane on Bulu. That would suck. All right, watch me under speed. Eh, he fakes out. That's fine. Oh, he did go for the Hurricane. That's not great. But like I said, I under speed this thing, which is really nice. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Lance Hydro Pump play. All right, I hit myself in confusion, but we under speed because of the room service. That's heat. Absolute heat. This Charizard's in trouble. He's already wasted his Dynamax, and if, it's, if he only has Kyogre in the back, I'm guaranteed win with my Tapu Bulu. So I just focus down the Zard and hope I don't hit myself here. Yep, there's the Ogre. All right, so I Glacial Lance, and I Hydro Pump. Hopefully I don't miss. That would suck. That would really suck. All right, Confusion ends. Glacial Lance lands on both. Charizard, uh, we saw it was Lumberry. Oh, it was Lumberry. I thought it was... I thought I just missed. Okay. Anyways, Bulu comes in. Um, I actually go hard Thundee and Hornleech here because uh, if I go hard Thundee, if, if they don't attack here, if they go for a protect, I just, you know, next turn I go for my Eerie Impulse. But yeah, they forfeit here, which is really sick. Awesome. So that was a really, really good first game for the team. I obviously should have paid attention to the Lumberry there. That's my fault. I thought I just missed, but a little bit inconsequential. A little bit inconsequential. The, the, what matters is that it didn't get paralyzed and I just dealt with it, so. But yeah, Bulu, uh, Bulu kind of going in. Whenever I have a game like that, I always have to make sure I'm recording because sometimes I'll forget to hit record and I'll do like a whole 30 minute showdown live and it'll be the best video I've ever made and no one gets to see it because I'm stupid. That wasn't recording. This is a scary team. I haven't seen Zerndon in a minute. It did win a recent tournament though. Um, it did win a recent tournament, but this is a little bit concerning because I could get swept by Xerneas. I don't know if I have the tools to deal with it. Thunderous could be really important on lead. Let's go Thunderous Palkia on lead. Um, I definitely don't want Trick Room here unless I can deal with Xerneas effectively. I want my Incineroar and I'm a little bit iffy on Bulu. It might be better just to bring Kali. But yeah, I, I definitely don't do well into this team. Um, Stack Attacka? I mean, sure. Let's do this. I'm about to do something insane. I'm going to Rain Dance. And I'm going to go for the Max Geyser on Indeedee. Or on Stack Attacka. But he's going to follow me. I'm going to do something absolutely insane. You guys aren't going to believe how crazy I am. You guys are going to be like, Marcos is crazy. Marcos is insane. Yeah, because follow me was guaranteed anyways. I do a decent amount here. They go for the rock fall. Mm, that's not great, but they didn't trick room, which is kind of what matters. Um, 
And he's defense boosting. Okay. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm a little concerned here. I actually don't know if I win this anymore. <laughs> I think I might have freaked it. Uh, I definitely need a quake here. And blitz. I, I don't want a parting shot. Maybe I do parting shot. Okay. Well. Let's see if that helped. He was heal pulse. Let's see if I somehow tank. Yeah, I tank. Okay, cool. Uh, How screwed am I, though? Like, let's be real. How bad is this about to be? I almost think I need the Trick Room, but also the way that they just let off stack attack in DD kind of convinces me that I'm not going to need it. Let's go for the horsepower. Um, and I'll go for the Quake here because if they have Groudon, the sun will go up anyways. And if they don't have Groudon, um, I need the special defense for literally everything else. All right, Quake will KO and horsepower should do it at plus two from this range. Yeah, nice. Okay. My team is looking a little bit stacked. Can't lie. Okay, it's Zern Torkoal, which I can totally deal with because Xerneas gets KO'd from this range by Glacial Lance and Torkoal doesn't take Glacial Lance into Spatial Rend. I can even Earth Power, actually. Earth Power is better. All right, I don't know why you did that. I still just Glacial Lance Earth Power. Let's go. He Geomancied. Okay, sick. That's going to KO. Nice. GG. Well played. Very sick game. We're doing some sickness on the ladder right now. I am literally vomiting all over these teams. Ooh. 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 Wait. Hold on. Tapu Bulu goes insane here. You're not a Bulu switching. You're not a Bulu switching. You are. Sometimes. You're not. You're not. You are. Uh, let's go ahead and lead off with Thundee, because Thundee can actually really make this game super, super free. Um, I think I go Thundee Palkia like every time. I bring the Bulu in the back, and I'm going to go ahead and go in Calyrex. Eerie Impulse Thundee. I, I keep banging my hat against the microphone. Sorry if you guys can hear that. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, okay. There's Regieleki. Uh, there's Calyrex. I need this Trick Room, dude. I need it and then everything is free. I have to make like a really tough decision though on who's going to Dynamax. And I think, I don't know if there is a right decision, truly. I could just Dynamax myself. I could just Dynamax myself here. You know what? You know what? Let's do that. I'm going to Eerie Impulse you and I'm going to Max Quake you. Because you're Dynamaxing one of these and regardless of which one it is, I don't like it. I'd be surprised if neither of these Dynamax. It's probably going to be Regieleki, though. Truthfully, it's probably going to be Regieleki. But it's nothing an Eerie Impulse can't help in a turn. Well, I, maybe it is. I mean, Honestly, for all I know, they could just be physical. And in which case, you know, Polkia's bulk that I gave it is going to help out quite a bit here. But yeah, I definitely don't want to take the... <laughs> I, I'd rather take a special Max Lightning, I think. Since, you know, it's going to be diminishing returns in a turn or two. All right. Um, Eerie Impulse here. I might one-shot this thing if it is Life Orb. All right, that seems... Yeah, it's Life Orb, so I should come pretty close to a KO. Oh, that was really close. That was scary close. Okay, I, I also don't know if it's physical yet. I don't know if it's physical yet. Th that's kind of rough. That's kind of rough, but I definitely need to keep my Thundee as the issue. I need to keep my Thundee if I don't want to lose. Let's Eerie Impulse you and hope that you're special. I mean, regardless, the, the Regieleki will die at the end of this turn. Let's do this. Be special. Oh, it was physical. No, no. Okay, let's see. I could have gone Bulu there. I was too scared though. I was too scared they would go for my guy. Uh, but I mean, I still, I still just go Bulu here. You wasted your Dynamax. Send in your Kyogre right now. Send in your Kyogre right now. I will Horn Leech it. 
What are you going to do versus this? You're going to go Talonflame? No, you're not. You're not going Talonflame. He could go Ditto. That's the concerning part. That's what I'm scared of. If he goes Ditto, I'm actually in a lot of trouble. Uh, I guess I could just Snarl it. It's not like... My Palkia has no tools for beating my own Bulu. It just gets walled out by a Snarl. So I think I just Snarl here if they do go Ditto. Yeah, they go Ditto. Uh, so I Snarl and I Max Guard. And that might let me get off Trick Room next turn. I just I just have to deny them. Because um, my concern is that they might KO my Palkia here with like Astro Barrage into Spatial Rend. And I just need to make sure I get like two Snarls off before I go for this. There's one. I get the KO. And I'm fairly certain I just win. Oh, there's a Bronzong. Okay, that's a little bad. That's a little bad. I don't know how I beat that. Um, unless I just go Cali right now. He also locked himself into Spatial Rend, and one would assume he's Scarf. So, that's not great. Let's Horn Leech. And I kind of need my Palkia to beat the Bronzong in the endgame. Don't crit me. Okay, nice. That's close to a two-shot. Um, oh, and he's really setting up here. Oh, this is going to be rough. This is going to be a rough endgame. Let's go for the Horn Leech... Onto Ditto as well as Glacial Lance. And that will KO the Ditto, but I'm super concerned for Bronzong because I need to land. Uh, I, I need to be able to get in my Palkia for free, basically, and go for the Hydro Pump. That's that's where this is going to get rough. Oh, he's not locked. Okay. This will do it. I kind of hope he body presses my Cali. Come on. Oh, that's not great. Okay. I get in Palkia here. Because he shouldn't, because he should body press my Calyrex, if anything. And I Glacial Lance again. Hope for a crit. He's not going to body press my Bulu, it's absurd. Get the room service. Ooh, I'm not slower than you, though. That's the issue. I'm going to go Bulu. <sighs> no. Yeah, I need this Cal, I, I need this Palkia outside of Trick Room. I'm going to reverse Trick Room and go Bulu. Because he had to body press there, 100%. You know, let's just start spamming moves because he can't he can't trick him again. Like, I need to get my Palkia in and hit him with a, a really powerful move. That also does a decent amount. He iron defensed again. I'm going to snarl again. I literally just keep spamming moves because he doesn't have reliable recovery. He just has protect spam. All right. I snarl again. I literally just have to spam until I get Palky in for free and then hope that my my attacks KO. Alright. Snarl. Protect here, because he's gonna body press. My snarl is kinda carrying though. My my snarl do be carrying me. Yeah, I think I win by just getting my snarl off. He's going to protect here, so I'm actually going to reverse Trick Room. Protect. Yeah, he didn't, but I'm still in a position where I probably win. Because I have recovery too, and he doesn't KO me because I have so much defense. Uh, let me go for the... I can just Spatial Rend, because that will send it in range of Snarl. I just have to get two Snarls off, and I should win. Because he doesn't get this recovery. Yeah, uh, I'm going to outpace him, I think. I'm very physically bulky. And Trick Room runs out soon. Yeah. Snarl here. I think I win. I just have to not miss. I'm so scared, dude. I really don't want to lose this one. This one was, like, actually really good. All right. He is... Oh, it literally comes down to this Snarl not missing. That's literally... I just have to not miss this last Snarl. Because the last Snarl did... 21%. If he double protects, he might win because the body pressed at 45. Uh, nice. Okay, he tried to go for the double. GG. And we hit 1500 with that, so that's super, super nice. Uh, I have time for more games. I do have time for more games. Dude, this room service Palky is kind of heat, though. I try to hit the 30 minute mark on recording. Sometimes we don't, sometimes we do.
Is this finally the game I bring Mimikyu? No, this is still a Palkia game. This is still just like a Palkia Thunderous game, I think. And I do want to bring my Tapu Bulu and I do want to bring my Calyrex. It's, in it's insane how little we bring Incineroar to these matches. <laughs> okay. Um, That's not great strictly because we're going to get faked out on my Thundee. But I'm willing to trade the Thundee here. If that's the case. I'm going to Eerie Impulse in Trick Room. He actually goes Rillaboom. I don't think that was the greatest play. Okay. Um, my room service got consumed. Let's go for Max Warm Winds on the Rillaboom because I want to get rid of you. And I'm going to get in my Bulu here. He goes for the Fake Out. Nice. All right, let's go. Let's go. Uh, let me go for the Geyser on Rillaboom because that will KO here and I just Horn Leech the Kyogre. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to KO this thing. I still do chunks there. I get all my health back. Geyser will KO and we're still serviced up. We're still fully serviced here. There's the Zacian Crown. How many turns of Trick Room are left? There are two turns left of Trick Room. Um, it is in my best interest here to go for the Geyser. No. No, I Wormwind and I double this thing because I'm going to get an attack drop and that makes it so much easier to win in the end game. Because my Horn Leech shouldn't do... Oh, it did. I really needed it to like not there, to be honest. I, I seriously needed it to not do that. Um. Ah, crap, crap. Uh, if I can get, you know, what? I know, I know how I win this. I know how I win this. It's just not great. Um, I need chip, and I think I go Cali on this play. Basically, I need to Thunder Wave that Zacian and, and like Earth Power it when it already has a lot of chip, or I can force a one v one. I could also just force a one v one. Let me go Cali here, or a one v three. Cali Stone Edge could do it here. It's going to be kind of close. He should fake out my Palkia. All right, Stone Edge KO. Ooh, I didn't like that. But he did go down. So now I'm actually in a pretty decent position. Uh, purely by the fact that he's already chipped down. And all I have to do is get a Thunder Wave off. And I win. So yeah, I basically just have to break this thing in Thunder Wave. So we'll attempt a Trick Room. And we'll High Horsepower. All right, I broke it. I just have to Thunder Wave him. I just have to connect a Thunder Wave and I win. Which should be pretty easy because he's going to let me. Nice. And now we hit him with that magic. We hit him with that magic Earth Power. I just Thunderbolt Earth Power and I win because I'm faster. Let's go. All right, GG. Well played. Yeah, I, I absolutely love this team. So many of my favorite Pokemon on one team. I love Mimikyu. I love Tapu Bulu. I'm a big Incineroar fan. I don't know if you noticed yet. And I love Palkia. Okay, uh, this is a pretty cool one. So, Double Genie, Swordfish, Kartana. Uh, I think this is going to be one of the games we actually do bring Incineroar to. Incineroar is super, super valuable here, just not on lead. Uh, let's go ahead and go Palkia Thundee as usual on lead. We're going to go Incineroar here, and I think... My last Mon, we leave the Bulu at home because Calyrex is actually crazy valuable. Yes. That is my plan. I'm sticking with it. Okay. So they end up going... Kyogre Amoongus. There's a very based play I could make right now, but I don't know if you guys are like emotionally ready for it. I don't know if you guys can handle what I'm cooking is the issue. Um, I'm going to go for my Trick Room. 
and I'm gonna Eerie Impulse the Kyogre. No, you know what? That's really scary. Let's do this. You guys, you guys are gonna think this is really dumb, but trust me, it'll work out. Okay, that's what I wanted. That's definitely what I wanted, because here, here, he's in a little bit of trouble. One would assume, hypothetically, in my opinion. No, I think I freaked it. <laughs> I so badly wanted to self Thunder Wave Calyrex to block sleep under Trick Room, but I don't think I can actually get Trick Room off here. And if I do, I end up losing to Amoongus. Um, let me Hailstorm and try to Eerie Impulse. Alright, I get the Impulse off, which is nice. Get the Hailstorm off, which is nice. Thundee survives, but he ends up going down. Uh, from this point on, I think I'm actually in a really good position if I can just eliminate Amoongus from play. And I think I get something regardless of what he does. I don't think my Quake does it, though. I just have to try this. Like, I, I, I'm going to say this out loud so you guys don't think I'm just playing blindly. Um, I recognize that by setting up Trick Room, if he decides to keep the Amoongus, I, I lose. But also, if he doesn't, I think I just straight up win. And that's like my only path to victory. So I'm just going to go for it. Yep. Okay. Check this out. If I get this, that'll be huge. Go Amoongus on the Kyogre. Come on, buddy. Go Amoongus on the Kyogre. You want to go Amoongus so bad on this Kyogre. Ah, oh, he didn't. <laughs> Sad. Um... He should be sporing my Calyrex, so I'm actually going to reverse Trick Room here and protect. Alright, uh, let's go for the Glacial Lance and hope I just don't die to this. And I'm also going to set up another Trick Room. Because <laughs> if I do get rid of this Amoongus, that'll be really nice. But I'm, I'll probably just lose here. I'm probably, Full transparency, I'm probably going to lose here. Maybe if he just doesn't Dynamax the Kartana for some reason, we're good. No? Okay. Maybe if he, like, max airstreams my Palkia, we're good. Maybe if... Okay. Good game. Good game. GG. Well played. Good game to you. All right. Good game. Good game. Good game. Uh, luckily, we did do pretty good today. Uh, as far as, like, how the team functioned and, and my little, like, experiment with Tapu Bulu, it did everything I wanted it to except, like, KO a Gastrodon. But we were able to still make use of stuff like Stone Edge. Snarl ended up winning an endgame versus a Bronzong. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, I think this was what I would call a successful little team. Uh, and in the end, we climbed to mid-1500s, which is very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, if you guys, and also once again, shout out my dude for telling me to run Room Service Palkia. Uh, I figured out the speed calc for the Grim Snarl, but the Room Service Palkia was entirely his idea. But yeah, uh, be sure to follow him on Twitter. If you guys enjoyed this at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.